Hi, in this video we'd like to talk about an interesting topic known as the vernix caseosa. So the vernix caseosa also is referred to as the birthing caster. So this is a material that you can see is covering the newborn child during labour when the baby is delivered via the vagina or c-section. You can see the baby is actually covered in certain material, white cheese-like, rather thick and greasy material. This is known as the vernix caseosa. Now, previously, we believed that the vernix caseosa didn't have any important functions. So many doctors, midwives, when the baby is delivered, they will quickly wash, rinse away the caseosa, and then pass it to the mother. However, during recent years, we've already realized that vernix caseosa has many important functions for the baby's short-term and long-term health. So it's very important that we do not wash it immediately. Now, many doctors do not have this uh, insight or knowledge, or they don't put emphasis on it. Here at the hospital, our uh, philosophy is that when we do a water birth, we allow the baby to absorb this vernix caseosa for as long as possible. 15 to 30 minutes, and then we, uh, and then only we allow the washing or removal of the, the birthing custard because uh, it gives time for the baby to adjust to its new environment. It also has many important uh, functions that we hope transfers into the baby and can help a lot for the baby's health development and uh, long-term health as well. So some of the important functions of the vernix caseosa, I've already written down some of it. The most important one is, is helps boost the baby's innate immune system. Now we know the baby, once it's born, it has a rather weak immune system and is susceptible to a bunch of different bacteria and infections. And this vernix caseosa, when the baby is delivered, it will be absorbed into the skin and it carries a lot of healthy amino acids, very crucial immune proteins that will serve to help develop a very strong immune system. Uh, you see some children when they are born and then uh, during their first early years, you see that they are rather frail, very fragile and are prone to sickness, always sneezing or once they recover, they will quickly fall sick again. This is rather associated with the washing off of the vernix caseosa. That's what we believe here at the hospital. So when we want a strong, healthy child, we want to leave the vernix caseosa for as long as possible. Let the child absorb it and he'll be very strong and healthy in the future. Second function is thermal regulation, which means it helps fuse into the skin, it helps develop healthy thermal regulating functions, giving healthy skin as well. Third one is antimicrobial properties, that means it can remove, disinfect harmful bacteria and viruses from the skin. Fourth one is it's a natural moisturizer. Uh, anything coming from nature is one of the most healthiest, the most powerful forms uh, of material that we can receive. And this vernix caseosa acts as a very natural, healthy moisturizer, giving the baby a very smooth and uh, glowing skin that we see and we all know. Next one is also it helps with skin formation because the baby's skin, when it's delivered, it's rather wrinkly and it's pale as well, you can also see blood vessels, but the vernix caseosa, once it's absorbed, will cause the baby to develop new skin cells, very healthy ones as well. Finally, it also helps promote wound healing. So when the baby is injured, or even later on in life, whether or not the healing process is fast or not, it's strongly associated with the vernix caseosa. So you can see these are only some of the few functions that we're going to talk about, but this vernix caseosa is very important Crucial. It's very important that we are not supposed to wash it off immediately. And here at the hospital, we let the baby soak and embrace it for as long as possible. So, not only is the vernix caseosa consisting of water, it consists of important immune proteins, up to 41 different individual amino acids and lipids. So, it's rather crucial that this baby is allowed to absorb. So, anti hospital not only specializes in that prevention and treatment of miscarriages and fetal demise. We also offer a water birth delivery. In our years of experience, water birth serves the best way to actually preserve vernix caseosa because once the baby is delivered, he's allowed to swim in the water tub 
And his vernix castillo cell is allowed to stay on his skin for as long as we want, rather around 15 to 30 minutes. And the baby will fully absorb this and we can see that these children grow up to be much healthier, much stronger than their counterparts. So if you see some children who are rather frail, weak, and, uh, although there's nothing fatal about washing off the vernix gaseosa, we do want the best for our children, especially if we want them to be healthy, strong, tall, and uh, usually it's associated with washing off this birthing custom. So I hope you've learned something new with our video today, and also do visit our website, read our articles, our videos, we are posting daily content to help you understand women's health, pregnancy, and also miscarriage related information. Leave me a comment down below and I'll see you in the next video.